Hello and welcome back. My name is Casey and I am doing an iris reading. This is the left iris and I've just completed the right iris which will be, um, let's see, iris reading number three and this will be number four. So we're looking at an excellent constitution in this eye based on the tribecula or the iris fibers their density and their direction. So they're very closely woven, they're very straight, and also not seeing a lot of lacuna in this eye. So excellent um, genetic heritage and constitution. A couple of things that stood out to me right away when I first took a look at this eye. Um, the first thing is this rather large area of it's discoloration, so it's more white, so it would be more in the acute state. And it could be, in my opinion, one of two things. It could be um, pretty, not extreme, but a pretty good case of inflammation in this area. It's interesting, though, because this area spans, you know, several different zones, anatomically speaking. We have the upper abdomen, the spleen, the arm and the hand. So to have an inflammatory area that, that covers all of those zones would be interesting. I'm, I'm leaning towards thinking that it could actually be some sort of residue or cloud from some prescription medication or some other toxin that was inhaled. Um, I have seen a similar response in an iris to someone who was taking prednisone and it just like sort of appeared like a little cloud over the lungs and that told me that that's where the toxin settled and that the lungs were the organ of elimination that would need to remove that 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 toxic settlement and just because of the fact that it looks to me like it's somewhat over the central heterochromia in the stomach and bowel region um, that would indicate that it is, like I said, like a, a mist or a cloud that's on top of the iris. And within this zone, we have several different anatomical regions represented. So whether it be uh, inflammation, it could be inflammation in this area, it could be an acute activity taking place in all of these zones. Uh, it could also be, like I mentioned, a toxic settlement. So I'll be interested to find out and until then we will leave it at that. All right, the other thing that stood out to me is this pituitary gland here. And there is some discoloration, some inflammation, lymphatic congestion, maybe even some calcification going on. But certainly in the pituitary gland, which is the master gland, we want to have health and harmony. And it looks like there's definitely something going on in that gland. All right, let's get into our brain zones. So... Just as we had on the right, we have the vitality or animation life center. So where we're receiving and how well we're receiving our chi, our prana, our inspiration from the universe and how well we're able to take that into our daily lives, how much energy we have at hand to complete our daily tasks. And then just to the right of that, we have the inherent mental, really close to sensory motor, but I'm going to call this inherent mental, especially because um, it did show up on in the other eye. And it also indicated, the radial indicated some weakness in the kidney and adrenal. And likewise, the same is true in this eye. So we have some um, something going on in the kidney and adrenal as well as the inherent mental or anxiety zone. And we have, again, we have the medulla. So the medulla being one of the most important, one of the most vital areas of the brain, um, controlling expiration as related to breathing and circulation, heart activity, 
oxidation of the blood. Um, it also contains centers for reflexes such as hiccuping, sneezing, and coughing. Um, all right, and this area in here we have the mastoid, which showed up as a radii solaris in the right eye. In this eye, it just looks like some lymphatic congestion, settling, and some inflammation. So could be related to the jaw, could be related to some TMJ or some clenching. And then again, we have a lot of inflammation going on in the neck and shoulder on the left side and the right side. And this little mark right here, you know, I saw a mark like this in the right eye and it looked like a mark I would see where a bone had been broken. Um, so I'm not sure if, and, and the same is true for, for the other eye, it could be a, bro a, a broken bone, and this is in the neck area, um, that has healed, or it could also be a tiny little I mean, honestly, it doesn't look like a lymphatic tophi, so I, I'm guessing that there was some trauma to this area of the body and just a lot of inflammation. It looks like there could be some chronic pain in the entire neck and shoulder. All right, and I need to circle the pituitary and so that I can remember that I talked about that. And also let's go ahead and highlight this zone down here. Okay, and getting back into the brain zones. Um, so animation life, and then we have this, um, you can, you could call it self-stress, you could call it perfectionism, um, most commonly it's called ego pressure. So this area and this zone has to do with perfectionism. So it's governing blood pressure, um, regulates decision making, psychological stress reactions, achievement of ideals and goals, and then how we might pressure ourselves about achieving our ideals and goals. Okay, and interestingly enough, we have a radii solaris in the left eye as we did the right eye. So this is a bilateral condition, whatever the condition might be. It could just be um, poor eyesight. It could also be some sort of condition that is developing, has developed, um, was genetically passed um, in, in whatever, you know, whatever state it may be in. It may not, ha it may not have manifested yet, but there's definitely an inherent weakness in the eyes. All right, I'm not seeing, like I saw in the right eye, I'm not seeing a lot going on in the thyroid area. So that's good news. You're still gonna have thyroid symptoms because there was an acute thyroid in the right eye, but not really seeing too much in the left. I'm seeing nerve rings, some, some lymphatic congestion, inflammation, so these little beginnings look to me of lymphatic tophi, just lymphatic congestion. And let's get down to the kidney and adrenal area. So seeing some issues with the kidney low kidney function and low adrenal function. All right, and then possibly some inflammation in the thigh, knee, and foot. Okay, there's also these little growths on the eye and they're not, it looks definitely like the structure of the eye is raised in that area. Again, it's not the most highly defined photograph, but that's what it looks like to me. And it could be that they started out as a sore spot, some, some little spot like this or this or this, 
could have triggered an irritation within the system and some sort of subsequent growth in that area of the iris itself. All right, and let's take a look at the heart area. It looks healthy. Um, there is a little, you know, light from the, I'm guessing the flashlight that was used. I think this, this photo was taken with a cell phone. And, but either way, I can see well enough to say there's not, um, there's not any lacuna on the heart. It doesn't look like any darkening in that area. It looks like a healthy heart. And let's go ahead and say it's a healthy heart. And we're seeing, just like in the right eye, we have a skin ring. So again, strengthening the health of the integumentary system through dry brushing. Um, you can use a loofah or a dry brush and wearing more loosely fitted natural fiber clo clothing and getting your thyroid going so that the thyroid can stimulate the metabolism to help the skin sweat. All right, I, I think that's it. I mean, we covered a lot in the right eye and a lot of it is showing up in the left. Um, the two differences, the main differences are this little area right here and the pituitary gland showing up even more so, and then also, of course, the thyroid looking a little healthier in this eye. Same thing, though, happening in the adrenal and the kidney. And really interesting to see the same brain zones being shown in both eyes. All right, thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.